so much You, but we've been through I miss you And you can't lie, you miss me too If I roll through In today's video, we're going to be reacting to some photos of Aaliyah. They were recently released a couple months ago from either 2000 or 2001. And she was on 95.5 The Beats interview in Atlanta, GA. And it was reblogged from an old Aaliyah fan page called Aaliyah Online. Without further more to say, let's get into this video. I've been wanting to do this video. I've just been unmotivated, but I've been really forcing myself to put out videos. So definitely make sure to subscribe. Definitely make sure to support. That helps me want to do it every day. And I appreciate all the kind comments. I really appreciate it. Here's the first photo. She always looks so tired in the end of her career. It's just really sad. And I'm pretty sure she was tired because they was working her like crazy. We love bucket hats on Aaliyah, especially this denim look, absolutely gorgeous. I just loved this era of her from 2000 to 2001, especially 2001. I loved her in that year. I love looking at pictures from that time because she really matured. She was a young woman, young adult, and it showed. Wasn't really a fan of the tomboy era. She has a beautiful smile. She looks so tired and it looks like she has no makeup on either you know how that be when you're tired and you don't want to put on makeup it shows here's the second picture she was just so beautiful she looks so drained that's all i can really say i feel like she was drained during most of the end of her career or her life and i think it was because of them making her work so hard i feel like it was only one reason as to why they was making her work so hard but that's another story but she still looks like she doing her best to entertain and to always keep a smile on her face. She was just absolutely gorgeous. And I loved pictures of her without makeup. You could see her natural self, beautiful smile. There's no smile more contagious than Aaliyah's. Aaliyah had the most beautiful smile, so beautiful. And through her smiles at the end, this is just what I feel. I feel like she not like forced happiness in a bad way, but she kind of forced to be happy no matter what, especially during interviews, although she was tired. I bet that after these interviews, when she was away from the cameras, it was just like, and it's sad that they didn't give her a break at the end. She deserved a vacation. From what I know, she was just working so hard. So here's another one. I would have loved to hear Aaliyah over the radio. Just imagine her voice over the radio. She was a smooth girl. Here's more. I didn't even know, like I seen photos of her on this day but I didn't know there was more. And when I saw these, I'm just like, I think I already saw these. And I kept scrolling and I'm like, no, I've never seen these before. So I wanted to do a reaction video to it because I love her hair in this. It's just me, but I feel like I'm pretty sure it is what I think. But her hair was a lot longer during this time. And like I said, I'm going to say this is from 2000 because that's when her hair got really long like this. And I feel like her hair was long like this because of the extensions that they added during the filming for Queen of the Dam. When she started filming Queen of the Dam in 2000, right? During that movie, if you really pay attention, her hair was a lot longer. And when she went to the 2000... I'm, I suck, but when she went to this awards, her hair was extra long, like she added more hair into hers. So this is how I know this might be from 2000, because her hair is the same way. It's very long. Her length just kept changing. Damon Dash said that too. Every time he saw her, her looks were different. She just looked like a totally different person every time. And I also heard this personally too, which is crazy, because I thought that I'm like, she looks different every time. Next picture. She was so small. I believe the people that said she was really small, she looked like she was 90 pounds. And I wonder if it was because her record label wanted her to keep this frame and that's why she ate so carefully. Just me, but Aaliyah was just so beautiful. She stood out from anybody in the picture, no offense, but if I didn't know who she was and I seen a picture, I'd be like, she's so pretty. Like she's the one that stands out, absolutely gorgeous. I really want to know where she got that rocket fella chain from. Was it Jay-Z or Damon? Here's another one. All that beautiful hair. Imagine Aaliyah having her own hairline with bundles. 
uh yeah i'd be the first one to get them okay not the first one to get them because people be going crazy over stuff they will literally stay up all night to wait for the drop of something i ain't doing that i'm gonna just wake up and try to get it <laughs> imagine her own hairline i would definitely buy this because her hair was always slay and i trust Aliyah. i would trust her 100 percent with hair and i already know she had her own hairline coming soon i definitely would have had every product period but here's another picture just imagine getting hugged by Aaliyah. and look at her arms like they're literally so small <sighs> she looked tiny i love her hat she makes me want a bucket hat but i don't think i could pull off a bucket hat i don't know she always like had them kind of in her eyes like this picture i don't know if i could put that off that's just an Aaliyah thing like you can't do everything Aaliyah did my allergies are messing up bro so if you see my eyes watering i'm over here struggling but anyways oh my god look at her arm compared to the other lady's arm that's kind of questionable and i wonder if she was like stressed i'm pretty sure she was with everything she had going on although she said she loved it i wonder if she had like an eating problem or something i highly doubt it because she has pictures of her smashing some pie and you know what i'm saying eating candy i highly doubt it but like she was really small like you could probably put your finger around her arm like this literally that's how small it looks i don't know where i heard it but somebody said she i think it was timbling but I could be wrong on the butcher it, but somebody said she looked like she was 90 pounds. She was very small. I had a booger in my eye. There's another picture of her in the airport and she looks very small. And it's nothing wrong with that. And it's probably just how she wanted to maintain her physique. That is her, but she was so beautiful. I loved her in bucket hats. I, I just loved everything about Aaliyah. You can ask me, but what did you like most about Aaliyah? Everything. I'm just gonna say everything because her hair was gorgeous. She was beautiful. Makeup choices was ahead of their time. Outfit choices was ahead of their time. I used to be confused as to why people said she was ahead of her time. Like, I don't see it. I definitely see it. She was doing stuff that we actually do today. And if you compare her to other artists, the other artists, they were dressing like they were back in the day. You know, the only look she did that was more back in the day was those ponytails in her head on Are You That Somebody. That's a 90s look. But other than that, Aaliyah was wearing her hair like this. And that's how people wear their hair today. I want to do a video of my favorite looks by Aaliyah. Makeup looks, outfit looks, but mainly outfit looks. There's just some outfits that I definitely want to recreate so bad. Like, they're just so beautiful. So I'm definitely gonna look into making a video about that. But Aaliyah was a cool girl. Still today, like, you know, there's so many artists that are not here today that we could take a liking to. But we just take a liking to Aaliyah. People say, oh, you only like her because she's gone. Whitney Houston's gone. I mean, I love her, but I don't... I love Aaliyah more. Michael Jackson's not here. I used to love him so much. I have, like, this big book full of pictures of him. And I'll never get rid of it. I was thinking about selling it, but I'm like, I would be crazy to sell this book. It probably doesn't even exist anymore. But, yeah, I, and I have a shirt. I actually have it in a picture frame because I messed it up. But you can still see his face and his name, so... Yeah, I used to be a huge Michael Jackson fan, but then I kind of fell off. Then I got into Aaliyah, and I just haven't been the same since. I still love her to this day. So, yeah, that was pretty much it. Wasn't that many photos. I did look on Google to see if there were more, but I couldn't find any. If you guys have any videos you would like me to do, let me know. I do want to do a video of my favorite photos or pictures of Aaliyah. There's just pictures of Aaliyah where I just sit there and stare at her, and I just keep saving them saving them i probably have like four of the same pictures saved of Aaliyah. <laughs> so i'm definitely gonna do that i really enjoyed these photos she just looks so tired she has no makeup on that's how you know she was chill this day like no makeup and you look tired yeah and i definitely think work was kicking her butt which is the saddest part but she was a strong girl and she showed that she showcased that a lot so yeah, anyways, that was pretty much it for this video. I'm going to save these videos because if you don't save Aaliyah photos when they are released, you'll never see them again. So make sure to save them <laughs> and then you'll have them and then you can release them when you want to without watermarks too. But anyways, like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay crazy. Ooh, baby.
Okay. 